This is fast pressure logger, Trulo 3. We have the main unit in a single transport case. We also can supply eight fold transport case for more than one unit. The single charging unit, the six fold charging unit to charge six units uh, simultaneously. The pressure logger hydrant clamp fixed glued to the hydrant clamp, the detachable hydrant clamp with a half inch thread where you can install the pressure logger um, and detach it as well, the mounting aid for um, fixing the pressure logger onto a hydrant, the tablet with the Trulo app for programming and readout. To program the Trulo, you have two options. <clears throat> One is directly through the three keys here and the LCD built in the pressure logger or in the Trulo app on the tablet. To start the Trulo, you press the on button here. The Bluetooth will be initiated so you can connect with the tablet. When it's done, you will see the main screen and uh, here you can now choose different options. One is measurement not active. You can activate a measurement if you want by pressing here on the OK button. Now you're directly switching into the menu and uh, you can choose the interval how much data you want to record, in this case every second one reading. And in the next slide you have the measurement points, in this case 10,000 measurements, meaning 10,000 seconds uh, recording continuously. And then you will be asked if you want to start the measurement immediately or later, you can choose a time or cancel i don't want to start it right now other options directly here in the lcd on the trulo is you have uh, the value you can choose in this case millibar um, you can display the time and um, change the time in the pressure logger uh, the date switch the lcd off that means everything is back to sleep. You can start a test measurement immediately. That means you will see the pressure which is currently uh, standing on the sensor. You can show the battery level. Uh, you can activate an alarm for certain pressure thresholds. You can show the temperature which is measured on the pressure cell and you can choose the LCD illumination. To activate the measurement you can press here on yes and then the Trulo will immediately start recording. You see here the actual measured value. If you press on the up or down key you will rotate through the minimum recorded value within this time, the maximum recorded value in this time, the number of measurements, so every one second one value. You can uh, show the alarm, in this case it's not programmed. You can stop the measurement and uh, then you will leave the menu and the measurement will stop. For programming the pressure logger through the app, you can download the Trulo app in the Google Play Store uh, by just searching for Trulo, you type this in, you will find it. When it's installed, you can start the program and uh, this is the main screen where you have the different options. First, you have 
observe measurement if a measurement is running on the pressure logger, read out a measurement if a measurement is finished and you want to retrieve the data. You can program a measurement um, for time controlled or in this case also event controlled measurement. The settings of the program and also the pressure logger itself. Import export is for sending data by email or water cloud and this is for loading um, already saved data on the app. In this case we have one data already existing so all measurements will be stored in here. In the Trulo settings you can change the device settings for this in this case it's grayed out because I'm not connected through Bluetooth with the Trulo. If you have some Trulos already in the list you can just connect it directly by pressing on it. In this case I don't have it so I can click here on this search icon and uh, the tablet will search for the Bluetooth connections available. Now it's appearing here to connect the first time I will need to um, confirm that I want to connect with this Bluetooth connection. So it's a pairing process and I want to pair. If it's one time done, I don't need to confirm once more again. Now it's connected and highlighted in blue and I have all the different settings available. I go through it, language, clear, system time, also clear and date. The info about uh, what firmware is inside. If a measurement is running, you can stop it through the app. You can erase the memory of the pressure logger. You can reset it to factory settings. And you have also the options to um, choose the units, either bar or PSI. In the firmware update, you can update the firmware of the pressure logger. In this case, the latest one is the top. It's all already programmed in the pressure logger. On water cloud settings, you can connect the tablet to the water cloud if you have an account with us. To program a measurement, you go here on this icon. Once more again, you need to connect to the Bluetooth of the Trulo. In this case, it's already in the list because I was once connected. When it's done, it's highlighted blue. And uh, now you can choose here either time controlled measurement or event controlled measurement. For the programming directly with the Trulo, you only have the time controlled option. In the app, you also have the event controlled option. For the time controlled measurement, you have a start date and an end date and time. You have the interval time, that means every five seconds, one reading in this case. You can choose if the temperature should be captured or not. Uh, normally it makes sense to record also the temperature. You see here the values of measurements. In this interval, we have now almost 1000 uh, recordings. And you can also click here in the app on repeat. Uh, either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or you can also choose like from now on I want to have uh, five repetitions and uh, when you're done you click on apply then the settings are transferred to the Trulo and it's now activated and I see here in the list the programmed measurement. For the event controlled measurement, you can click here. Uh, it's the same uh, page for the time controlled measurement, except of that you now have to define a minimum pressure and a maximum pressure. That is the threshold of when the pressure logger will save the data on its memory. When it hits the lower boundary, that means the minimum pressure or the 
maximum pressure when it exceeds this value. And um, in this case, the pressure logger will start recording with 10 data points per seconds. In this interval, it will monitor for the pressure and when it hits one of these thresholds, it starts immediately recording the um, 10 readings per seconds plus uh, about 1000 values before the event starts and 500 values after the event already disappeared in order to know what happens before the event and also what happens after the event. To read out recorded measurement data from the pressure logger, we tip here and once more again need to connect to the Bluetooth. When it's done, it's highlighted in blue and now you will see road up all the measurement data which is available with the date and the time when it's recorded. You can select uh, several or all and then if you click on save um, only this measurement data will be saved on the app and now it can be also found here on the measurement sections and you can look at the data what was recorded as a graph and also email or send it to water cloud for example to copy a measurement or the program settings the device settings to other pressure loggers in the list you can do the following procedure you connect to the pressure logger where you have programmed some measurements in this case it appears here and then you can click here on the copy icon then a list will open and if you click on search all Trulo will appear in this list which have Bluetooth available you can delete Trulo's where you don't want to copy the data or you can just switch off the pressure logger which is the simpler way um, if you want to copy the data to all the devices available you click here on copy now the bluetooth will be established with the first device with the second device you see here in the list the green hook which will appear now it's copying to the first trulo the measurement data or the recording data and the second one so it's easy to copy the same intervals for all pressure loggers in this way.